so gorgeous. Yes, gorgeous. Yes, yes. So lovely. Yes. The media were all over the place. Yes. 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 yes, everybody here. We were all, all jumping here. when you were announced. Hello. Yes. I like the gown. So beautiful. One, two. One, two. Um, Zosie. Thank you. When you're here. Dear. Can you provide me with photos and hey. I, I will put your name How are you? I'm good, okay. thanks, so are you? Can you give me a message to the people of South Africa on how you feel right now? <laughs> oh, I'm so ecstatic. I think everyone is still waking up, by the way. <laughs> they are going to wake up to storm um, of news. I don't think I've ever had as much support as I did um, coming into the Miss South Africa crown. And so I think this will be something extra and very special for everyone back at home. Um, and so I just want to tell them that I love them so much. And thank you for all the support that they've shown me for the past four months. And um, we're here to do this another 12 more months and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kim Ford. As Miss Universe, congratulations. Thank you. What does it mean to you right now, uh, to you, for you to have Black Girl Magic right now, Miss Teen USA, Miss America, uh -huh. Miss, right. what, what am I missing? Miss USA, and now you, all Black women are running yeah. the world right now. How do you feel? Uh, you know, in my answer, I just said how in society we, we struggle to find ourselves as beautiful because we've been boxed that way. And society has been programmed for a very long time in a way that never saw beauty in a way, you know, that was black girl magic. But now we are slowly moving into a time where finally women like myself um, can find their places in society, can finally know that they're beautiful. And not only that, but really just continue breaking boundaries that we've been told that we can't do before. And so I think this is absolutely spectacular. It's a beautiful movement and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Okay. Hello, Miss Universe Hi. 2019. Hi. <laughs> wow. First of all, many, many congratulations to you. Thank you. So my question to you is, first of all, my name is Lakshmi and I am from India. So my question to you is, I have learned about South Africa reading and history and from our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi. So my question to you is, do you really believe winning this title, you can bring real good, positive and peaceful change to your country and to the entire world? You know, I believe that whatever we put into the universe always comes back to us. And I think that if we all work together and do that, we can all that we can individually, we can um, make a change. It's not something that's going to happen today. And it's not something that's going to happen if one person does it. But if we all do all that we can, bit by bit, day by day, we're finally going to get to that place where um, we can all unify and be one. And I think that starts with understanding each other, educating ourselves about each other and understanding each other's differences and only that way can we be able to move forward you know as a nation and um as the world or the universe rather <laughs> thank you hi there uh brian from sociology first of all congrats you're beautiful thank you uh you are the third woman from south africa to have the miss universe crowd yeah. how does that make you feel and what sets you apart from all your other uh Um, it makes me so proud and it says a lot about South African women um, and how we are back at home. Um, I think we share similar traits of being South African, of being rooted in our heritage. Um, South Africa is known as a rainbow nation because of our, our unity and the kind of past and history that we come from. But, you know, obviously things that set me apart, my physical uh, <laughs> appearance is definitely one that strikes you first the most. Um, but I think we're actually, you know, more alike uh, than we are different. And I think I'm just bringing in a, a new, fresh and different perspective of what South Africa is. Um, Demi Lee did an amazing job. And um, I think I will do my best as well to bring in a different um, type of feel and, 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 and beauty into this universe. Hi, Sosi. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you um, so much. I represent CNN Español. I would like to ask you, how do you feel as a woman that was never thought or considered to be beautiful because of your skin color to be crowned Miss Universe in a city that symbolized the civil rights movement in, in the U.S.? And then, is there anybody that you wish could be here with you tonight? Thank you. Thank you so much. And to add on to that, on the first 
black owned studio in Atlanta. So yeah. that is so special to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yes, growing up, we, we, we were faced with a lot of colorism and a lot of racism. And it's something that I experienced as well um, after I got crowned. Because like I said, you know, when people project things that they project on us, it's not because um, it's because they're just uneducated about things that they don't know. It's because society has taught them to feel that way, to look at things that way. And um, so for me to be able to be here today, crowned as a Miss Universe with my hair looking the way that it does and my skin looking the way that it does is something truly magical. And I hope that it touches every child who grew up the way that I grew up and was told that, um, you know, they were not beautiful. And it even extends beauty because it's not just about beauty. It's about breaking boundaries and, 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 and doing things that you've been told you can never do before. Um, and so that's what this crowning means to me. Hi. Congratulations, Miss Universe 2019 in South Africa. Yay! We are so excited and happy. But I interview you. This is from Estas Online Noticias and Que Pasa. So we are so happy. And I thought that you were so humble and so genuine and so authentic. So we are so excited. And as a minority, we are very happy that this happy, uh, happens, right? Diversity and inclusion. So this is amazing. Um, now, my question is more about around the world is an issue that's going on, which is uh, with mental disabilities. Um, it is something that is raising every single year. We have more autism, uh, ADHD. Uh, we have different word diseases, uh, bipolar disorder. Um, Alzheimer's, when you, I mean, just to mention a couple, but it's something that is going on around the world. How can you, as a Miss Universe 2019 South Africa, can help us raise awarenesses? You know, I think awareness is one of the most important things. I think the louder we scream, um, much better people sad about mental illness seriously. I think people consider it a weakness the most. And uh, people need to learn that it's not a weakness, but it's an illness. If you give a diabetic insulin, then why should you not give mental illness the same kind of attention? And so for me, I think um, speaking about it on my platform, engaging with people and trying to educate them as much as I can about it would be something that would help on my part. Miss Universe, congratulations. Thank you. You look amazing tonight. So that crown exactly. looks gorgeous on your hair tonight. Thank you. Um, I asked you a very important question on the red carpet when we first met. And I asked you about woman empowerment. Very big in America right now, hashtag me too. Mm -hmm. And your message was very strong in regards to woman empowerment. Also tonight you make history as becoming the first woman to represent diversity in Miss Universe. How do you feel representing the world, the beauty, and with short hair. <laughs> I mean, it's an absolute honor um, to be able to represent inclusion and diversity and representation. These are things that I feel are so, are so important and people um, like to ignore the most. And um, I'm so glad that I can be the one who is, I don't know if, if the token is the right kind of word to use, but I'm happy that people can look at me and know that they matter too, because I feel like that's the most important thing to me. Hello, Zozobini. Hi. <laughs> Dumela. Someone. Yes. All right. I am so proud of you. You know, I'm from, this is Isabel from Africa TV One. I'm from South Africa. Ah, yes. And we are so proud of you. You are standing on the shoulders of a great nation. <laughs> And we have been talking with other um, media people and everybody is excited and said that you really represent the true spirit of a queen. You are inclusive, you've got diversity, and you don't, don't forget where you come from. So now you've got a, you've got a role also of an um, ambassador, United Ambassador. Can you tell us about that and what is it that you're going to do for United Nations? <laughs> Yes. Say oh, I love yes. that you're telling me what I need to. Oh, did I just tell you? It's like the United Nations. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so before coming here, I was working together with the United Nations, United Nations Women specifically, on the He For She campaign. 
So He For She is a campaign that focuses on gender equality and gender-based violence. You know, it's said that we have about 108 years before men and women can catch up and be equals, which is kind of ridiculous to think that I will not see equality between men and women in my time. And so, which is why this is so close to my heart, because... I don't see why women cannot catch up to men in 2019. Also, I don't see why women should remain victims of gender-based violence, especially under men who supposedly love them, supposedly taking care of them. So that's what I was committing my time to, to making sure that we bridge that gap between gender inequality and gender-based violence. And, you know, it's a global platform, and maybe I'll be continuing with it. Just have to wait and see. Hi, Zosa Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. We're, uh, we're so happy that you, you, you won the crown tonight. Thank you. Uh, two questions, one light sure. and one, one heavy. Uh, your name, beautiful, does it have any meaning? Yes, it does. And uh, number two, um, how would you use your time as Miss Universe to fight violence against women and children? Thank you. Thank you. Um, so my name is a Kosa name. I'm a Kosa woman from South Africa. That's my tribe. It means Sibamba Ngezanda Zozibini, which means both hands, it means gratitude, and it's just being grateful and thankful. That's what it means. And the second part is what would I do to? How would you use your time as Miss Universe to fight violence against women and children? You know, for me, I think educating the future generation is the best way to go. My thing always is if we fail now as adults, maybe we can do something to change the lives of the future generation. So I want to challenge men to actually step up to teach their sons how to look at little girls and young girls as their equals from a very young age, so that by the time they grow up, they grow up to be the men that we need in society today. So if that's something we cannot accomplish right now, maybe in the next 10 years, we will have the start and um, maybe we will bridge that gap of 108 years and half it maybe to 50, maybe to 30, and maybe to 20. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Susie Vini. How Hi. are you doing? Good, thank we, you. We were talking about your dream like a couple of days ago that I told you you will win, and you said that definitely you were really proud of your style. Yeah. Now you are becoming a, a new leader in the world. You know that in the United States right now, women, are facing a problem, especially immigrant women who are being a part of the children because of the immigration politics. So what would be the message that you can send to the government in order to stop doing that and help women? You know, like I said, most of the world problems happen because we refuse to understand each other. We refuse to learn about each other. And my message would be, let's, let's try and sit down and see what it is that we can do t together, you know, to accomplish this. Um, stop um, racial profiling, stop looking at each other like we're all not human, because we are human first before everything. And um, I hope that one day we can get to a place where, you know, things like this are resolved. Hi, Zosivini. Hi. Dale McDougall from Wave Radio, all the way from Belize. Congratulations, first Thank of all, you, in your win. Um, I noticed that your platform work focuses on women's equality, gender-based violence, and that kind of thing. I also think that many of us agree in here that climate change is also a very important issue. And your country, like mine, and many of us here um, from the media, that, that's a real life problem for many of us in other parts of the world. Um, what is one thing that your reign is going to do to advance efforts towards improving that particular issue? Yeah, you know, that's particularly a touching point to me as well, because back home we are in a little bit of a drought, and it is because of the climate change. And I think the best thing that I, I can do on my part is to use my platform just to really shine light on the situation. Um, I think when I first heard about global warming, I thought it was fake news. You know, when I was young, I was like, there's no such thing as global warming. And so I think that's why people keep ignoring it. And I think just because we keep ignoring it doesn't make it unreal. We need to start realizing that this thing is happening and that it's happening quickly and that it's destroying our planet and that it is up to us to save the planet. We only have one planet and there's so many. 
So my platform would really just be to make awareness and to educate people on about what it is and what we can do as individuals, because sometimes you don't have to be a government to govern. You can just be yourself and really just make a difference as you can by yourself. Thank you. Hi, Sosie. Congratulations for your center. Hi. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I am from CNN in Espanol as well, but we did digital side. You're going to be the hero for a lot of little girls that see you and they see represented or they see themselves represented in you. You, as a little girl, who is your hero? Sure. Wow, it's so interesting you ask that because it was it's quite difficult finding heroes who look like you when they aren't being represented. But I have to say, I looked up to a lot of people like, uh, you know, Harriet Tubman. I grew up reading about her. The likes of Mama Winnie Matikizela Mandela from South Africa. These are two absolutely strong um, women. Harriet Tubman, many of you will know, was, you know, a slave. And then she got free. And then when she got free, instead of running for her life, she goes back and she frees other slaves and risks her life. She was like a modern day spy and for me that you know it inspired me to want to be more in life to want to do more and to not just really to want to break status quo um i wanted to live a purposeful life because of people like her so she inspired me a lot hello i'm here how are you Hi. doing congratulations you were amazing thank you my question is going to be now the world has found such a beauty on you how can you inspire the world to overcome hate and see the beauty in each other? Love that. Um, wow. You know, the, the world is in so much turmoil at the moment. Um, there's a lot of misunderstandings and, and then people are fighting a lot. Um, but you can find happiness in such small things. Find happiness in your friends. Find you know, happiness in your family. But I think the most important thing is to find happiness in yourself first, because once you are truly and happy with who you are on the inside, it radiates on the outside as well. And it's very, you can pass it on to other people as well. So I think it's self-love, it's self-affirmation. It's so looking at yourself in the mirror, saying you are enough, you are intelligent, you are beautiful, and you love yourself. And then you can just radiate it to other people as well. Thank you, you are. Thank you. We have time for one more question. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Oh. Hi. Yeah. I, just, I just want to know with all the overwhelming questions, all the over, all the, oh, it's not working. All the overwhelming questions that you've answered beautifully tonight. I just want to know what is your plan, what's your plan after, you know, all the chaos that, you know, you hear tonight, all, all the overwhelming um, people staring at you tonight. Like, what's your plan after and tomorrow? Hopefully for us to have a big steak and mashed potato. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll take it from there. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Juliana from Telemundo. When we interviewed you, uh, you said you were gonna look for your friends. Have you gotten a chance to talk to them? And now that you want us in this universe, now that you want us in this universe, have you gotten a, t a chance to talk to your family? Or who's the first person that you're gonna contact? No, I haven't. I haven't been able to talk to them. But I'm sure after this, I'll be able to sit down with them and just celebrate. Are they the first ones that you're gonna contact and that you're gonna talk with? Yes, of course. They're already here because they came to watch, but they're somewhere around here. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. We have time for one more question. Tonight, why did you decide on this dress? Yes, everybody want to know. I mean, I think this dress is such a representation of who I am in every way. It is African um, with the beading, and I come from the Eastern Cape in South Africa. That's where the sun rises. It's where the sun first hits the ocean and it has the most beautiful blue water and the most beautiful um, golden sands. So I think that was my biggest inspiration for it. I just wanted it to represent me in every sense. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone.
picture and Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen.